Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thanks, Jamie. So first, I would like everybody to stand up. I want us to look at like just changing our energy. We've been here for a while, haven't we? I want you to move to your body. Right. Have a stretch. Don't be embarrassed. Have a dance if you want. That's it. Oh, does that feel good? Right, now I want you to sit down. Right, Jamie's there laughing. Okay. Now I want you to close your eyes. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to take three deep breaths and just be present. So one. Two. And three. Now I want you to think about how you feel right now. You can reflect on the past couple of hours. And just think how often do you take that time to just stop in your day and move when you're busy, move your body and change your energy. And it's as easy as that to change your energy. Feel your heart, feel your senses and take that time to be present. And a little bit of self-care through the day is so important. So do you feel a little bit different now? Has your energy moved? Amazing. Okay, you can come back in the room. So thanks, guys. Okay. So yeah, in busy days, number one, move your body if you're at the desk all day and just change it. So I want to talk today a little bit about getting comfortable by acknowledging the uncomfortable. So part of my mission is I love, love, love to share the benefits of looking after every aspect of our, our life, our well-being, and to help you feel your best version and ultimately to feel happier. So over the past few years, I have been adding all these things to my wellbeing toolbox. And I've learned through experience and through others. And I wanna talk through something today that I've learned on a program that has been usually transformational for me, something I've not actually shared before in circles. And I truly believe it can impact everybody in their life. So I'm gonna share a four step process for dealing with the negative self chatter that we have. And I'm gonna call them red light stories. It's not my term, I've borrowed it. Um, and these can often hold us back from our goals, from feeling our, our best, and ultimately to up leveling our well-being. So I'm gonna start by saying, we have all got unlimited potential. We have the ability to smash out of our negative habits and our beliefs. So first of all, what is a belief? What is a thought? It's a story. So who here is a great storyteller? We all are. How often do we tell ourselves stories all day long? And these stories can keep us safe, but also they can hold us back. So we want to talk through changing a negative story into an empowering story. Now, I want you to think of an area in your life where you, you're not meeting your full potential or you've got a habit you want to change and there is a story that we tell ourselves. Now, we all do this, don't we? We don't even realise. So firstly, we need to recognise this belief, this story, is ultimately, it's not a fact. It's a story made up of a load of stories that we've collected throughout our lives and it's coming to a, you know, it's often like really deep rooted, you know, a core story. So some tips, this four step process is something you can do every single day. If you want to dig deeper, we have got amazing coaches on here that you should absolutely go and talk to and they can help you on all of these incredible things. So first of all, acknowledge it and the negative pattern holds us back. Now, I want you to get a pen and paper. I want you to think about that story and I want you to write it down because we are going to disempower it. If you want, you can be brave and even share it because often these stories are the same that we're all thinking of. Okay. I'm going to give you a couple of ideas and I'm going to focus on well being here. So, I am not a morning person. Who's here not a morning person? I haven't got the time. I'm too busy. I need a glass of wine to relax. My mind's too busy to meditate. I saw that now. <laughs> 
and I say it myself. I can't do it, but they're better than me. I can't run. I can't run. Now, I'm standing here going, who am I here to talk about all of this? So, I mean, literally, I've had this going through my head as well. So, we all go through this, and I've got so many stories I could share with you. But I'm going to share a story of a friend of mine. She's a client, but she's a friend, and oh my God, she's an absolute inspiration. So, I'm going to take you through the four steps. Step one acknowledge our red light story well actually this is that's step one is we know that we know the story step one is acknowledge the circumstance so what is the circumstance the circumstance is the facts it is neutral so the neutral could be it's our age we're sat here on zoom i live in bromsgrove you know all of that kind of stuff number two is what is the story your belief so it's how you interpret it is whether it's positive or negative and that leads to the feeling. Number three, the feelings. Positive leads to positive and negative leads to negative. And number four is the actions. So negative leads to non-action, which can equal fear. So this lady I'm gonna talk you through. Let's take her, her one. I can't run. That's the story, I can't run. The circumstances, she can run really, she's run before. Five years, she lost her eyesight. She believes she can't run, she can't see. She has an autoimmune illness. She is fatigued and she's had an injury. So she, that has led her to believe she couldn't run anymore. And I, for many of us, I think, oh God, I totally get that. How does she feel? She lacks belief in herself. She lacks hope. She stops exercising, her diet's low, her mood's low, and the action means that she hasn't even looked at trying. And she's continued with this for, for many years. So let's think about how we can flip that. What's that green light story? How do we change that? So I want you to think about how can it feel good? How do we change it? I'm gonna share her story now over the past few months is she has changed that story and it's so, oh, oh my God, it's just, it literally warms my heart. Her story is now that she can run. She's worked on all of the above. She's changed the story. She's changed the health. She's changed the diet. She's changed her routine and she's changed and it's up-leveled her confidence. So she feels confident. What she's done, she surrounded herself by the people who can help her. She has changed her energy. She has changed her intention. She's got herself a running coach. She has now achieved couch to 5K and she thought, and she was told she could never do this. And she has just signed up for the Birmingham Half Marathon. And she's doing that with her running guide. She has took inspired action. She's got a totally different energy. She's invested in personal development and her well-being. Now, I hope that gives you some inspiration. We will all, you know, I always say it's a story. So I have to catch myself constantly. It's a story. It's a story, Sarah. And we've got to remember dealing with it and pushing through it is where the magic happens. So I'm going to leave you with an action. Try this daily. If you have a story, acknowledge it. Write it down. The circumstance, the story, the feelings, the action, and flip it to how you want to feel. And I want to leave you with this. If you want to share it with me, I would love to hear your stories and if you ever want to talk any through. But like I said, there is many incredible coaches on here as well. But let's change the paradigm. Rather than working so we have time, let's give ourselves me time and self-care so we feel our best to work. A little bit like what Luke was saying. How do we have, you know, flipping it around, release that guilt and that negative self-talk and we can be healthier, happier, and ultimately wealthier in every way. Thanks everyone. Love to hear.